Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to unbox the item that I got, uh, which is, I already unboxed it, it's, it's very heavy. It's Best Wood Meat Slicer. Yeah, it came out with a huge giant box that I ordered from Amazon and when I lift it, it's definitely feel heavy. After opening the box, I would say the home high-end version, home use residential high-end version, is very heavy and it's made with stainless steel and then they have a grinder here in the front which you can press the button when you need it and there's a one in the back right here I don't want to get the uh, the low-end version because all here most of the part you can get we you can get replacement from the uh, from their site like bestwood.com you can get the the stone replacement, you can get like the slicer, you can replace it, you can replace this. So I think most of the item you can get replaceable versus the uh, low end version, you pretty much cannot replace. And if if it get worse, you pretty much need to toss out. And I heard that the motor from the low end version is not as good and this motor is very good. And I think it's very quiet if I turn, the suction to cup is very, it suck on it. It's very good. You're not, it's not gonna move. If I push it very hard, it's not moving. So which is very very good. And you can, if you unlock this, I believe you can take this out and clean off the uh, the cutter. And I already put on this past it so that it's no like meat or anything that go into this little motor right here. As well as you need to put this little plastic, just avoid like also a like safety protection to avoid your hand or slice off when you cut it. So it'll try to prevent you like cutting, like touching on here. So which is good. And let's turn it on. And this is the dialer. Uh, this is the on, oh, on button, press it. Oh, this is what happened. I haven't plugged in yet. <laughs> let's plug it in and let's turn on. Doesn't sound, the noise is very low. You can hear it, it's not that loud at all. And you see this spinning around, it's spinning and you can adjust the dialer, how thick the cut up to 12 millimeter. Is it 12 millimeter? One centimeter, maybe something like that. You see, when I switch the cut, this is keep going out and outer and outer. So this is the mess I can do. Probably one centimeter, huh? And now I move it closer. It'll just move it in, 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 in. Cool, huh? I like this machine. Feels like very professional as a home user. I feel like I can use this for making like Korean barbecue and hot pot at home. Because if you buy the sliced meat at the supermarket, they charge you double the price. Like let's say if the meat costs $10, because they slice it for each piece, they charge you $20 a pound. So which is not making sense, right? So I decided to buy this. If I use it like, Let's say if I use one pound each time when I do hot pot or Korean barbecue, if I use 30 times, I bit even, right? So 30 times, I'm pretty sure I bit even like buying this machine. After that, it's just a like bonus to me. So it depends how many meat you can eat each time, right? And if you push it, it's very smooth. No issue here. But first, when after you, you, you unboxing, it's better to clean off right away because I do see a lot of like, little strength. I'm not sure it's coming from the metal or coming from the styrofoam. It's tons of it. So make sure you have a deep clean before you start using it. And I also got like some pork belly. I'm not gonna use it. I just wanna make it cut and then stick all the dirt into this meat. This is where the meat's gonna drop. I think I'm gonna put a little plate, a tray, so that it, I don't have to clean here. So let's see. So I'm gonna use this little tray that I use, that small little tiny toaster oven that I don't, I don't use anymore. Maybe I just hold, put this here hold off all the meat that drop here so that this way I don't have to clean much. Or you can put aluminum foil on below so you don't, less work to do, you know? So this is the way I'm gonna try. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we'll see. So let's do this. Again, like when you get it, I still see little tiny little thing here, like little string. I'm not sure if you can, may not be able to see it on camera, but it's definitely clean it. Don't use it before you, after you've done cleaning, right? So, and this thing you can move around and then you can see like little here. 
if you look all the needle you pretty much slide down and you hold down and then you'll just slide through it uh, let me try um, 0.5 maybe thin slices i'm not sure let's this is the the point and then i tried 0.5 and then we'll get started so let's see how that works i'm so excited i've been looking for a slice machine for over a year to find the best one with replacement uh let's see oh my god so easy i feel like slicing bacon without using energy oh my god oh so, so this is like that thin if you use 0.5 how thin that is oh my god this is so good let me try one one now one i don't feel like i, I have to use any energy at all okay let's see now oh my god hey bacon this is one c one one i think dollar number one this is how thick that is so so clear huh and it, oh my god i love this meat slicer i don't have to like push so hard it's just so easy to use wow let me try one and a half now okay let's see how that is oh my god i just need to press this push it down and then push forward without using too much energy oh my god oh my god this is so good wow so this is one and a half still very clear i can see my hand shadow oh my god see you see when i do this it's very so so smooth by pushing forward and backward i don't have to use any zero power energy human energy effort right look at this oh my god oh now when you get two you need to push a little bit harder because you are making a thick slice oh wow this is how thick that is for two so i think for hot pot size i think two is good enough oh my god this is like big bacon like thin slices it's so good and the noise is not that loud enough it's very quiet i guess you're paying for the quality oh my god this is so good so let me stick with one and a half so i can cut more couple more pieces as a cleaning see oh my god this is so good oh okay oh my god huh one and a half still thick huh oh my god all this bacon Yeah, having this tray is very good. I feel like um, even though you have a tray here, there's still some like ice dripping over there. So just wiped off, right? At least having a tray is better. Now I'm going back with one. Yeah, you see, like, there's still some little dirt. Probably from the ice dripping here. So probably may use some cloth wiping off. But at least having, if you have a tiny small tray, or get it from Target, they have a small version of this kind of tray, use it, or use aluminum. You have less, less thing to clean, basically. Wow. This is good. Oh, make sure your meat is frozen. When your meat is frozen, it's easy to cut. Wow, bacon. Ooh la la. So let me try go back to 05. I think, hmm. I feel like it's no different, huh? 0. 0.5. Let's roll back. Oh my god, so easy, everything. Now I can do hot pot and Korean barbecue at home for a cheaper price. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Now I notice. This is how thin 0.5. I could tell the difference. The lower the number, the easy to push. If you get, like, let's say higher with the frozen meat, you're gonna use more energy to push because it's probably because it's frozen, it's hard. So if you do a 
very thin slices. It's very easy to push. Now I'm setting, yeah, still 0.05. If I try again, it's so easy to push. When you get to like 1.52, it's harder. You need some more energy to push it forward. Oh, this is so good. Amazing. Wow, I already make so many bacon. Again, I'm not gonna eat it, just like a first time using, like cleaning, like also cleaning all those little tiny string out. Hopefully I get to get everything we move after all this. Then I can start using to grind stick for hot pot and Korean barbecue. Oh my lord. Oh. Zero effort to make this. Oh my god, loving this. And yeah, if you can afford this machine, like buy it because it's definitely quite, I mean, downside is, I mean, every single slice, you slice me slicer, they don't come with a tray. So that is a downside. And I would say the weight is heavy because the motor is better. Is you pretty much make sure you put in one location and that's it forever. You're gonna cut from that location going forward. You don't wanna transport um, too often because it's definitely heavy for myself to lift. And yeah, um, if you have the money, save it, get this best one. You're not gonna regret, it's so easy to cut. And this brand, if anything goes wrong, you can get replacement so easily. I, I love replacement because I, if I pay so much, I'm expecting if something like the blade not going well, getting not getting bad or get worse in the future, I should have to get a replacement just for that piece. And that's it. Since I'm paying so much, you know. But that's it for this unboxing Miss Slicer video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.